This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McLean. How to get ahead of rising costs in retirement. A question a lot of you I know have on your minds right now. We're going to get some insights from Scott here in just a few minutes. First, though, some latest news on Social Security benefits. Also, inflation spreading becoming a global fight. Thank you for joining us today on Financial Insanity. I'm Alex Dingman, along with Scott McClain. If you hear something today that raises questions that you may have, give Scott a call, 609-488-4646. Again, 609-488-4646. Just at a dot com for his website. Scott, we got to talk about this big news from the Social Security Administration. Benefits going up by 8.7% for 2023. Yeah, this sounds like great news. People receiving Social Security, Scott. But why? Why such a big increase in benefits? It's actually rising so rapidly, more than 8%, 9%. uh, It's actually rapidly going up. That's why people keep calling in, Scott, should I buy an I-bond at 9 point uh, plus percent? And and, and they don't know, yeah, buy it, but it's only $10,000. It's not going to keep you out of the woods. But you know, Alex, I was thinking inflation is going to hurt because that's the number one fear of retirees. Am I going to run out of money? And those are usually for the go-go period. The go-go period is when you first retire. In the go-go years, inflation could really destroy those lovely people that are in retirement that just, just started or you're just about to turn on retirement. And now, of course, you plan your trips, you plan your vacation, you want to go out in the boat, and the gas prices are expensive, flights are expensive, things are out of control. The government's continually pouring gasoline on this fire by giving away free money. And I'm not going to go into any further. People know that. The challenge is this needs to be corrected. Now, if you're in your slow go years, it's not affecting those people as much because they may not be going out to dinner as much. And for those retirees in the no-go years, that means they did it, done it, don't want to do it again, it pro- they probably aren't feeling it hardly at all, except, except, number one, drum roll, please, well, those people that are perhaps in a, uh, in a facility that's increasing their cost, uh, long-term care facility, nursing home. So, Alex, for those go-go period, they better be aware uh, and readjust their portfolio because inflation is insane. The number one fear is running out of money. You know, you hit on it, my man, is that the record high inflation going on and here in the U.S., but not only a concern here in the States, also an issue in other parts of the world, including Britain. And Keir Starmer, the leader of yeah. the Labor Party. Here's Keir. And I think for so many people looking at their mortgage payments, worried about whether they can now afford to pay them, they not just frustrated, but angry because the government has lost control of the economy. And Scott, I want to pair that uh, with another quote here before you react. Inflation becoming a global fight far beyond the U.S. and even Europe. Mark Hamrick, senior economic analyst with Bankrate.com. Mark, what you got? We're seeing an extraordinary series of moves by central banks around the world and not exclusive to Europe, but uh, in places such as Indonesia and the Philippines, uh, moving their benchmark interest rates up. And this is all in reaction to a common foe, which is inflation. What are your thoughts, Scott? You know, if people aren't paying attention, they're, 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 they're doubled down. They're putting their head in the sand, just exposing their vitals. Uh, this is uh, phenomenal. So if those Democrats want to say, oh, it's Republicans, it's the Democrats, stop that nonsense. It's increasing. What do we do? This needs to be uh, controlled. How do you control it out there, you guys? Listen to me. If you're out there listening right now, obviously you need to keep your eye on your budget. Just had a call today, and this one client wanted to uh, move their money into a Roth because they wanted. They were worried about taxes going up. Brilliant, brilliant. I love taking those phone calls. And if you have those questions about should I move to a Roth, why? Tax-free if taxes go up to, to pay down this debt. 
feel free to give our, our studios a call. But on top of that, Alex, the, other, the earlier call today was the person was changing their investments around. They had a big investment company. I won't say the name. And they were not paying attention to taxes. They found out the company was taking extraordinarily too much tax out. They actually had to take more money out of their retirement savings, not knowing that they were paying an extra thousand dollars towards the taxes. And they got a fat tax returns. This is why it's so important. So they were actually selling off shares of stock as the market's dropping. We call that reverse dollar cost averaging, and they have to pull more money out because of inflation. So there's a, a double whammy that most people are not paying attention to, Alex. I know it's off the beaten track, but it's a real concern, Alex, really yeah. concern. It's global. It's not just U.S. No. Just can't pick on for those Democrats. I'm going to go on your side of the coin. Just can't pick on him. It is a global thing. But do people look to the United States for leadership? That's Sure. Big concern as well. Well, we're going to hear from somebody uh, from United States leadership here in just a moment. Got some more sound for you as you're listening to Financial Insanity, Scott McClain. And it would not be insane for you to call Scott if you have questions. The number 609 488 4646. If you're wondering, what am I going to do with all this money the Social Security Administration is going to be giving me? Or what do I do about all this money the store wants from me due to inflation? Call Scott, <laughs> 609 609- 488-4646. Now, love to take their call, Alex. Anybody, I know anytime you they want to give us a call. If I'm not available, please leave your, your name and your number. I'll get back with you because this is a concern. Don't put this on the sideline, especially when it comes to your investment. So that's very important, Alex. Well, and I know you're so genuine about that. You really do love helping people. You love being yeah. an educator. You love answering these questions. 609 609- 488-4646 at a.com if you'd rather go online. So depending on who you ask, there are several reasons why we're continuing to see high inflation here in the United States. Here is House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. You're living through 12 months with only 11 months pay now because inflation is so high. We warned the Democrats not to do that American Rescue Plan, but it wasn't just us warning them. Larry Summers a Secretary of Treasury Democrat told him, don't do it, you'd bring inflation. So we've seen all these big federal spending packages during right after the pandemic. And you just right. heard the House Minority Leader saying that's one of the reasons why inflation is so high. That makes sense. What do you say about increased government debt as a legislative risk for retirees, Scott? It's a major warning sign of where do you put your money? Uh, could things spiral out of control? You see, sometimes the stock market will jump. Uh, like a dead cat bouncing, it jumps and then it just people want to get in. They don't want to lose. They got to keep up the inflation because the government pushes you in to the market because you got to make a good return. The question is, could you be pushed in the market yet to find out that you actually lost a lot of principal and the and the return on your investments could be disastrous. This is really a concern. So Kevin's right on whether you're Democrat or Republican. It's affecting the entire, all of us. And so I, I just hate to have dis, discord and fight against Republicans or Democrats. I mean, I love everybody. We, we've got Democrats, Republicans, independents. It doesn't matter. The question is, you got to go with what we have right now. And uh, you got to know when to hold them and know <laughs> no no one to, to pull, pull them, I no. guess my Kenny, Kenny boy says, right? No, that's very true. And, and Scott, you know, hopefully we don't always see inflation this high, but the fact uh, that it's going to cost, uh, you know, cost will continue to rise throughout uh, our retirement. That's just that's just going to happen. Scott, how do we get ahead of inflation so we don't have to cut back on our, our lifestyle? We know that's so important. It's really important when I mean, you think about the seven or six, seven different vehicles. One of the areas is knowing your, knowing your budget, like my phone call today did not know his budget and the other advisors nearly never drilled down on their budget, drilled down on how they're pulling money out and drilled down on taxes. And you think it's normal. Oh, everybody does that. It's not normal. Uh, it should be, it should be part of the uh, training package. Everybody goes through. So number one, you're spending number two, uh, when you think about the concerns, uh, about living your money, uh, what are the financial risks? Do you have too much in the market? Do you have too much in your mattress? And so are you trying to keep up with inflation? Are you, what are you doing to keep up with inflation? Are you loaning money out or I should say, uh, letting your kids borrow money or loaning the money or giving their inheritance free? Well, that too will end. And of course you're, you're feeding a, uh, an animal that could really hurt those of retirees that are giving this money away. 
If you got a lot of money, maybe you don't feel it. But I can tell you, you'll feel it one time or another if you don't have that much money and you're, you really want to help out for those big hearted, lovely grandma, grandpa, or the parents out there. And then the next thing is when you go out, uh, I've seen so many people going out to dinner and, and let's say uh, uh, you have a lot of money and I'm going out to dinner with you. I'm just assuming you might pay my bill because you've got a lot of money. And you know, I've seen this so much. Who's going to pay the bill There's actually a book on that. Who's going to pay the bill? the bill uh, when it goes out to dinner. What do I mean by that? Make it clear with your kids. Hey, this is a Dutch dinner. Y'all paying your way and I'm paying my way. <laughs> do you think I'm crazy out there? I'm not because those little dollars add up. And again, if they keep borrowing money from you to pay back uh, some of their debt, well, that doesn't take care of a bigger problem. If you have any questions about what Scott just went over, very important, timely information, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Scott, why should you always borrow money from a pessimist? <laughs> why, Alex? He won't expect it back. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Hey, oh, you know, I we know. got four keys to a comfortable retirement coming up next. This is Financial Insanity. Scott McClain, Alex Dingman. We'll be right back. Scott McClain at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. We made it back. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. Who is most likely to be comfortable and confident with their retirement? Doesn't that sound nice? Well, there are a few <laughs> things you can do to help secure your financial future. Scott with us to break it all down. Let's start here. As the Employee Benefit Research Institute did do a study, found that retirees who say they feel comfortable in retirement have done the same four things. How about that? So we're going to share those four keys with you all today. The first one is going into retirement with little or no debt. Boy, you know what? This is the biggest challenge I face. I had a beautiful couple come in yesterday. They were 80 and 84. They had $50,000 to their name. And I asked them how long you've been retired. Oh, Scott, we retired in 2003. Mm. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Almost what that, uh, what's that 20 plus years. And, uh, tell me about your situation. They had a $200,000 mortgage. They were spending, as she said, uh, well, Scott, we're only spending uh, uh, out of our accounts $1,000 a month. I said, I'm thinking, okay, and we're living our social security. So I bought that. I bought into that. Mm -hmm. And I said, do me a favor. Could I see your tax return? This is where the three blind mice come in, Alex. Yep. You see, I asked to look at the tax return. Alex, the tax return showed me they were pulling out $24,000 a month. Oof. They had $50,000 left. I had, a, I had to give them the bad news. And I said, well, how long have you been with your advisor? Oh, we've been with him since 2003, 2004 when we retired. I said, when he or she got with you on a yearly basis to explain how money works and how your money's going to last, what did they say? And they said, well, they just said, move my money around. Alex, they had their money in the stock market yep. and at risky and they were down 20% year to date, 20%. I said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Last year, the market was up almost 20%. So you were spending the earnings. I didn't tell them what I was seeing on the tax return, Alex. If you have a tax return, number one, and you have debt, pay attention. Because when I looked at the tax return, I looked at the debt situation. 
I said, you know, you guys are taking out $2,000 a month out of your savings. You have a $200,000 mortgage. And when you pass away to the lovely young man of 84 years old, I said, if you pass away, your wife is going to have to make some serious decisions. And so the serious decision is you got to sell the house. You got to downsize. You got to move in with the kids. But no one had that. I call it a come to Jesus meeting. Let's talk about the brass tacks. If you have debt right now, let's focus on it. And when you pay down debt, you don't pay down the highest interest rate. The biggest mistake is you pay the highest interest rate card when you should do, write this down. If you're listening, if you can remember one thing right now, just one thing, rolling debt. I want to roll down or pay down my debt through the snowball effect, the snowball effect of paying down debt. This is critical. If you need help on that and you have debt, please feel free to call me, call me off the air, 609-488-4646. Scott, when you say snowball, how do I snowball my debt? How do I pay it off quicker? Please call me. Unlike this couple I had, they didn't call me at 609-488-4646. What they did was they kept living the same life and the financial advisor in their life never guided them through all of the areas, looking at the tax returns, the legal documents, as well as their portfolio. So snowball debt. Number two, the most important, of course, paying down your debt. The most important thing, of course, is paying off as you snowball down the debt. How much cash do we have in the sideline? I asked this lovely couple, oh, we have a couple thousand dollars, but we pay our bills off every month. Will we just refinance, Scott? Oh, is that to pay back the credit cards? Yes. How much in credit card debt do you have now? They said $8,000 in credit card debt. So what they're doing is they're using the credit card. They don't feel the impact of the debt until it comes due. Then they pull the money out of the IRA accounts, causing more taxation. This is double dumb. So please, Alex, you, you brought a big point on the first thing in retirement. Let's take a look at the debt. Let's, let's go ahead and have a wrestling match with the debt. And let's go ahead and get this in control. And we're talking here today with Scott McClain about the four keys to a comfortable retirement. And Scott, I must say, I saw you on TV the other day, obviously know about the radio show. We know about the book. You're everywhere, but it's very important to you to educate people and just talk about that, Scott, about about getting in front of people and and why you think that that's important. You know, I think that's my calling, Alex. Uh, I I love uh, educating people. My one area was heading out into the field, the mission field, and of course, uh, called into, into this financial industry. And what I found is the lack of knowledge people have, and they need guidance. They don't need to be told. I am uh, the, my favorite class, Alex, you'll never guess what it was. It was show and tell <laughs> <laughs> because I could talk about something, show people things and show them how it works. And I was in kindergarten when my daddy brought back, to, you know, Trini all over, all over the world. And he traveled, he opened up plants and spoke six languages. My dad was brilliant. And, and, and one thing I waited for is when he got home and he opened his bag, he showed me presents. And when he gave, gave me a present, gave my sister a present, I was able to use that to show and tell. Show and tell is important because I need not to tell people what to do, but guide them into making smart decisions with their money when it comes to retirement. This is where the lost art of advising is. People want to sell, but they don't want to educate. They want to tell, but they don't want to walk them through the valley of shadow of death because they think everything's okay. But meanwhile, they've got a left hook wave coming at them that could disaster them as the young couple I just spoke about. And I had to tell that young couple we just spoke about, Alex, that you need to sell your house, go to low income housing, use that money and or move in with your kids. I guarantee you, they probably don't like me. And if they're listening right now, I love you. I'm giving you tough love because comfort Sometimes you have to sacrifice comfort for how do I make sure that if my wife passed away, if I pass away, husband passed away in this case, how can they survive and enjoy life? Isn't that what it's about, Alex? Absolutely. No, 100%. And the less you have to worry about, the better. And one of the things we worry about the most, run out of money in retirement. That's a real concern. 609-488-4646. And so talking about four keys to a comfortable retirement. First one, going into retirement with little or no debt. That sounds tremendous. The second key to a comfortable retirement, having a clear spend down strategy. Scott, what does that mean? 
spend down strategy. Not only spending down your debt, but spending down your expenses. Alex, uh, if, if, if you're out there right now listening, I, I'm not preaching to you. I, I promise you I'm not. Um, I, I'm trying to help guide people make smart decisions. And, and spend down means, well, maybe to me it means something important. Can I live on a lower means? If you're living on, let's say, $100,000, and then all of a sudden you look at your retirement, you think you have a ton of cash in there, and the advisor says using the rule of four, 4%, well, do you have enough to live comfortably? Maybe you need to start cutting things out. Some people have said, well, I'm going to go ahead and just buy one car this year, and my wife and I, or my spouse and I, my significant other and I, we can use one car. Maybe it's not going out as much. Maybe it's sharing, and I mean, as we did in our church, go have a covered dish dinners and, and all get together and still have fun, or maybe have people come over and share. Spending down, maybe you don't have to buy as much clothes, maybe getting a smaller house as we're talking to many people. So spending down strategy and paying attention to the numbers, both spouses need to get together and look at what they're spending and put a spreadsheet together. If you don't want a spreadsheet because no one likes the, the cuss word, the, the B cuss word called budget. Uh, no one wants a budget, but I can promise you this, when you're coming off a juicy income and now you're retiring, you need to sit down and figure out what can we live with? What can't we live with? And the biggest cuss word is this, Alex. The biggest cuss word uh, on top of the word budget is no. When your kids want to borrow money from you and you're spending money, this couple was telling me, well, my lovely child was getting a divorce, so we helped him out. What'd you do? Well, we paid her debt down. Is that where the money went? Yeah, a lot of it did. We wanted to help her. I said, why'd you do that? Because that's our child. We wanted to help out. Well, the emotions and practicality I'm not telling you guys to, to hate me on the radio right now, but you got to look at this is about you and your, and your love. If you're married, your lovely wife or partner, you've got to pay attention. You've got to, got to pay attention to your money. And as you look at your money, can we afford giving our child $10,000, $20,000 to pay their debt down? What does that look like? If you don't have a financial advisor, run the numbers several different ways. But if you don't have an advisor and want to ask a question, please feel free to call me off the air, 609-488-4646. The reason why is because you might just need another uh, opinion. I'm not going to tell you what to do if you decide to call me at 609-488-4646. But what I'll do is I'll give you my input. And 41 years being in this industry, I've seen a lot of uh, people make decisions that maybe they should have asked somebody else. Uh, because I can tell you the decisions you make today may affect you like in this couple and it's affecting them right now. They could be running out of money. Don't put yourself in this situation, Alex. They don't have to do it. Feel free to give me a call if you wish to, but I want to help you well, and guide Scott, you. Next guy, a lot of times it's just that big picture. It's just not being able to see the big picture and you're, and you, you know, wanting to solve that problem right now, wanting to help that person in the immediate, wanting to satisfy this <laughs> desire right now. But Scott, it's really about the big picture and how it all you comes together. You couldn't have said that better, Alex. I, and when I see the big picture, it happened to me yesterday uh, when I was heading to the office and, and I asked my wife, you know, where, where I need to get a, where's the napkins I got to take with me as I'm, as I'm driving to work from the farm out in Southampton. And I said, where, where's the daggum napkins? And she goes, Scott, it's right in front of you. Hmm. There's a big roll of yeah. napkins in this. Right in front of your face, I, Scott. It was, Alex, it was dead. I mean, like I'm looking all over the place. Sure. I'm running to go out. I want to be on time. And it was right in front of me. If it's, if your retirement is right in front of you, you probably need someone to run it by because they're, they are able to, if they're an advisor, they should not be wanting to sell you products. They should be wanting to help solve a problem or a solution or a problem that may be coming down. This is the difference between an advisor and a salesperson. Why advisors should be looking at the taxes, the legal and the financial, and then possibly problems coming down the road. And so I can tell you right now, Alex, uh, you know, when you look at the spend down, if you've been doing this thing as long as I have and other advisors out there, they've been doing it in a while. The question is, how are you getting guided? Not sold a product because anybody can sell 
a product, but educated on what to do. You don't want to buy sneakers when it's snowing out. You probably want to buy boots, <laughs> unless you're going to play basketball in the gym. Then you might want sneakers. But again, buy the right tools for the right time. 609-488-4646. If you have questions, you can call Scott. 609-488-4646. Just add a dot com for the website. Breaking down the four keys to a comfortable retirement. More financial insanity on the way. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Financial wisdom grown locally here on the Jersey Shore. You think I'm an idiot? This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, brought to you by McLean Advisory Group. A study from the Employee Benefit Research Institute finding retirees who consider themselves to be comfortable in retirement have done the same four things. And so... Scott, first, let's recap the first two keys to a comfortable retirement we went over. Number one, going into retirement with little or no debt. And then number Beautiful. two, creating a clear spin down strategy. So taking us to the next key, having some sort of employer provided assistance. Talk about that one a little bit, Scott. You definitely want to get the employer provided assistance like your 401k. If you have a 401k, make sure you're matching it. You might have a 403b, which is a nonprofit, same as working as the 401a. And you want to make sure the money's put in the right investment choice, especially now. In addition to that, if you're, uh, I think it's 59 and a half and older, you're allowed to do what's called a in-service withdrawal. Most plans offer an in-service withdrawal. Let me give you a heads up. Based on the stock market taking a real uh, uh, challenging time this, this, past, uh, this past year and perhaps going forward for another few years, I believe, perhaps if you're in retirement, you're, you're planning on retirement, you take that money in the 401k, 403b, if you're over 59 and a half, and you roll it out of the plan and put it into some guaranteed accounts. That's right. Or put it into an area, let's say roll it into an IRA. And as you roll it over into an IRA, you still contribute to your 401k, 403b, 457, your TSP. Still keep contributing but on the money that you pull out and put into IRA, you have the universe of investments to go into. Let me tell you what a universe means. You're not just stuck to the, quote, portfolio they offer, the mutual funds they offer. You're able to go outside into an IRA account. And in this IRA account, you're able to get individual stocks, bonds, Preferreds, REITs, BDCs, MLPs, all sorts of yummy types of investments. Maybe you're going to buy managed futures or hedge funds or, or maybe commodities. You need to be able to be, uh, I should say, flexible and able to go when in most of these plans, they don't have it. The second thing is on, on top of that, uh, maximizing your 401k out and then doing an in-service rollover to perhaps other vehicles out there that are Perhaps they've got some guaranteed vehicles like I've seen lately of 5% and, and going up. Maybe you need to participate in the prepaid legal plan because you need your legals done. Perhaps you get a, a prepaid legal plan that's very pennies on a dollar. Or maybe you're going to go into the, uh, I think it's called the Hyatt, uh, Hyatt uh, legal plan. Great product. See if they have that. And I would definitely look at that to keep your legal expenses down for your will, power of attorney, living will, health care directive, maybe you need a trust. So your legal aspects. And finally, we talk about 
your health care savings account, your HSA, as long as it's portable or you're using it for yourself, the spouse, make sure the HSA is funded or the FSA. The FSA is called the flexible spending account. I love when I see people are really cranking that up because they're cranking it up means putting money into it as long as you can take it with you. You don't want to put it in and then lose it. So you might need to speak to your, your department there uh, at your work and to see if it's I don't want to use it or lose it. You don't want that plan uh, unless you are have a lot of medical expenses. Then you're tax deferring the money. In other words, you get to write it off on your income. And so you make 50000 a year and you put $10,000 a year in the HSA. That means your income shows you made 40000 It's just a tax play. So when your financial advisor looks at the tax return, he or she can guide you. Again, Look at all the different areas when we talk about the employer benefit information, as Alex, you well said. And then again, what is your definition of comfortable when you retire? Get that number we just spoke about. Get Understand, you know what, you've lived rich, you've lived poor, but you're comfortable. What is your definition of comfortable? Not your kid's definition, not your uh, best friend's definition, your definition of comfortable. Scott? If people have questions about how they can be more comfortable in retirement, how can they get a hold of you? I'd love to speak to anybody off the air. No cost, no obligation. I promise you that. We've been educating people at 609-488-4646. Again, love to hear from you. If you've got a question, hopefully I've got answers. I pretty much do, or I can call people to get them for you. 609-488-4646.com, by the way. If you just enter .com, it goes right to our website. So you can learn more about my firm and what we do as we grow this firm to helping people make smart decisions with your money, especially going into retirement. Scott, we'd all love to have a pension, but that seems to be happening less and less. And if I'm not lucky enough to have a private company pension, how can I still achieve a comfortable retirement? Well, I would really, uh, when you don't have a pension, my, my best friend, Dale, uh, I won't say his last name. He'll probably uh, be laughing at me, but <laughs> we, we talk about retirement and I myself don't have a pension. I've got a nice corporation. I've got tremendous, wonderful employees. You, you all would like to meet with, I promise you would love them to death. But my friend is getting right now from his pension, a uh, $3,000 a month. And, uh, if he passes his, away, his wife gets 1500. I said, Dale, why'd you choose that option? Because I want the highest rate of return. Okay, then I asked him the next question. Well, Dale, in, in $3,000 a month or $36,000 a year, Dale, I am so happy for you. Do you know what the value of that $3,000 a month is? He goes, what do you mean? $3,000 a month. No, no, no. What's the intrinsic, the real value of the $36,000 you're getting per year? He said, well, I, I don't know. I said, well, Dale, that's equivalent to me having to have $900,000 in the bank pulling out at 4%. So I got to have $900,000. If you're like myself, you're a sole proprietor, you're a corporation, your firm doesn't offer any uh, retirement pension benefits. Scott has to have, using the rule of four, Four percent. If I have nine hundred thousand dollars, which is equivalent to Dale's retirement, well, that means I can pull out thirty six thousand dollars. Now, nine hundred thousand dollars sounds like a lot of money, doesn't Alex? Yeah, sounds like a nice chunk of change. It, it sounds like you live forever. Nine hundred thousand. Sure. Oh my goodness, lump sum nine hundred thousand. But your best friend is in your back pocket. Called well, it's not best friend. He's actually your worst enemy. <laughs> it's called the IRS, our Uncle Sam, and the IRS wants a piece of that nine hundred thousand. So how you strategically have income for life? There are vehicles, Alex. Once you determine how much you need and comfortably need, there's vehicles out there that could give you an income for the rest of your life for you your spouse, your significant other. And then on top of that, when you plan for that, you might want to make sure for those of you that have a significant other or your spouse, you might want to think about putting your assets into a trust to protect it from nursing home expenses. I see a lot of financial advisors, Alec, they're forgetting this very vital part of planning is how do we protect the assets? Well, maybe we need to have a irrevocable trust with a 
special provision so we can have this step up in basis. This is again, part of the planning, not just money, but the whole holistic picture, not a simplistic picture. Talking about four keys to having a comfortable retirement. And we just went over the having an employee provided assistance. We're discussing a pension. And if we're talking about having guaranteed income, you got to throw out Social Security as well. So that, oh, can, yeah. <laughs> that can be an option for folks. And, and how do we make sure people are making the right decision there, Scott? Alex, I, I forgot that. I'm, thanks for bringing it up because we do Social Security planning. I mean, it's a well good detail. Planning. Yeah, it's part of and it, I, though, right? And the biggest, uh, here we are in Halloween time, and you could make a mistake. <laughs> and the mistake they could make is the couple. I got off the phone with uh, uh, this couple this morning at 830. And this couple, uh, his wife is taking Social Security. She is 72. And her income right now on her Social Security and I've spoken to this couple several times. She is receiving right now $1,800 a month on her Social Security, and she's 72. Her husband, we were doing this, uh, this, this meeting this morning. Her husband is 68, still working, not taking Social Security. And I, and I asked him, I said, uh, why aren't you taking the spousal benefit? You see, he can claim the spousal benefit. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm looking at my notes and every year I've been asking you about this, take the spouse a benefit because you do qualify because the laws have changed on social security. Well, she was getting 1800 a month. He is past the full retirement age, FRA. If you look it up on your, uh, on your statements, guys and girls out there. Well, hers was 1800. Did you know? And I said, why don't you apply for the spousal benefit, not your benefit, right now and i'd like you to right now go ahead and you're able to take eight hundred dollars extra month keep working but you have an extra eight hundred dollars now put that in your 401k in his case the fsa and i said increase your savings he said i could do that because of all of the choices that you have in social security by the way alex is 587 different ways to take social security can you imagine how people get get confused and the number one way alex versus the number two could mean an extra hundred thousand dollars of income over one's lifetime so Mm. choosing the right social security when you go into retirement this is like the three-legged stool cash in the bank savings or retirement account and pension money and then, of course, your Social Security. Those three entities, and I throw in one other entity, which is not the leg, but taxation. How can I make my retirement the most comfortable for my spouse, my significant other, my partner? How can I make that? And this is where you have to look at your investments, your savings. Maybe you want to move and build that new house. Let's take a look at the whole picture not just one piece of the picture, which I see these daggum investment guys right. and girls, they look at one thing, what can I get versus how can I help? Well, and again, it's that big picture, Scott, like we mentioned earlier, it's how everything plays together. And, and when you're making your social security decision, it's it's the big picture as well. Yeah, one thing might look real good in the immediate or in a couple of years, but over the long haul, what is going to make the most sense? And so as we wrap up this segment here, give people uh, an opportunity if they have questions, how can they get a hold of you, Scott? Please feel free to call me 609-488-4646. That's my radio studios. You'll get me. Now, if you don't get me, please, when you call 609-488-4646, speak to my staff. They are wonderful. And see, I'd like to speak with Scott. I know he's busy because we are. We're servicing our clients. They're number one. Tell them you want to speak to Scott and give them a quick heads up what it's a little bit about. And I will make time to speak to you off the air uh, in a private conversation. Or perhaps you would like to say, Scott, I want to come in and have a and have a come to Jesus meeting. OK, great. Bring you and your significant other. If you're married, if you're or you maybe have a partner, come on in here to help you. So give our studios a call. 609-488-4646. By the way, happy Halloween. <laughs> So you'll get the treat you deserve by planning now. Scott McLean and the amazing team at McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646.com if you want to see them online as well. 
This is Financial Insanity. Out of the box thinking for your financial sanity. More on the way. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. News, tips, and financial tricks, all right here. It's the kind of devil we need around here. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. We talk a lot about the risks to your money in retirement. Wall Street Journal saying baby boomers' biggest financial risk, cognitive decline. Scary risk can rob you of your best judgment. Sometimes it can go even unnoticed for years. With that in mind, we're going to go ahead and bring you a top five list for this week. Top five scams that you should be aware of, Scott. Well, (laughs) I don't know about you. And I just had someone in the office and this lovely lady, 73 years old, was in the office and has a new friend. Beautiful, beautiful gentleman. As yep. he sat out in the lobby, and we got through talking about it. And I, and I called the romance scam. And uh, obviously, it's real. And when you think about the romance scam, of course, they, they perpetrate themselves as uh, they got money and they want to go out. And who ends up paying the bills? And they end up uh, having that area. On top of romance scams, I, I like to throw in there when you think about that, maybe kids who think they're so concerned about their mom and dad's money that uh, maybe they think mom and dad have a lot of money and they can borrow the money. I think that's a scam as well. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but I think uh, these partners, romance scams, as you, as you well indicated, these dating websites, these uh, elderly victims, just to get your information, be very careful of that. We all love relationship people. Uh, This is important. Now, Alex, you said there was another scam out there, the tech scam, I think you mentioned. Yeah, and that's something and we see it all the time. Really, you can have text messages, you can have emails, but unfortunately, there's a lot of technology nowadays, Scott, and people can be reached so easily, and you never know how somebody may maybe even got your information. But this is a lot of communication, and sometimes people can make it seem very real and something very relevant, and they can give you a lot of sense of urgency, and it's just it's important to be aware of those kind of things happening as well. Boy, that, that is, is so true. When I think about these tech scams, I, I remember when we do taxes and these tech st- scams, they turn into a phone call. Uh, did you get your, you owe money on the government? Uh, you need to send us money. Um, uh, or one of the close friends and clients, which obviously won't say their name, where they called me up and they were uh, at beside them, where they actually ran to Walmart and they wired money through Western Union of $5,000 because they heard their grandson was in trouble, got in a car accident, but they they won't report it if they send them money because their grandson hit uh, somebody um, and uh, they ended up almost dying. The woman is pregnant, now lost a baby. This is real. Mm. And she called me, the husband and wife called me and they said, Scott, what do we do? And you know, I said, let's call your son right now and see about how their child's doing your grandson. No, they told us not to call anybody or they're going to go ahead and press charges. Yeah. I don't know if you would believe that. Now my clients are a little bit older. There's this, this couple were very close 
And I looked at them in the eyes and said, we're calling your son right now. No, Scott, I don't want you to. I said, okay, we're going to call the police. They were in my office. We're going to call the police station right now to see if there's any accidents. And we did. I said, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, let's say Jojo, uh, we're going to call now your son. You should have seen his wife's face. Alex, I believe you. These scams are real. And they did not want to call because they're afraid it's real. We got the son on the phone because I forced them to do it. Oh, no, he's, he's with his best friend right now. There was no car accident. These are real scams, whether it's from tax returns, such as the tech scams, the grandparent scams, usually trying to, as the, which is the third scam you, you had mentioned to, to me when we were speaking before. The, uh, of course, they're, they're faking out, relative. And then we talk about the government. We talk about the taxes, the fourth scam. And that's a big taxes. one, Scott. That's a big one because Huge. I, the, you, because they'll pick the right times too, whether it's tax yep. season or whether they know it's open enrollment or whatever it may be. And that's yes. when you'll get a call and then it makes it seem very relevant. The, the tax scam, you know, Alex, I get this call every daggum year. And we have it in our folder. We do our tax returns for our clients. We do a, we do a, for our financial clients, it's a real expensive tax returns, like $110 we charge. We don't want to be a profit center. We want to help our people understand that. But one thing we found out is, okay, this is the IRS calling. You need to owe money. Uh, we don't want to put a lien on your account. And the IRS doesn't call people. It's like, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't we just tell you in our in the portfolio when you got your tax returns, there's a thing that you may get a phone call. Don't expect a phone call. It says in there real clearly. So, and then the stimulus checks. I can't tell you how many calls we got because we do taxes for our clients and the stimulus check. Yep. Oh my goodness. Totally ridiculous. And and you know what? I don't blame the older folks because they're sitting at home, they're watching their uh, TV shows, they get a phone call, and fear is a tremendous motivator the older you get. And that, to me, your lights go dim, maybe your husband, your wife, your significant others taking care of you, and you're worried about them. And these scams, well, Alex, the sweepstakes scam, how about that one? Or the charity. I want to give money to the, the poor people or this charity. Or maybe like uh, my friend, as I mentioned, uh, one of your shows before we spoke about my uh, roommate in college is uh, over in Poland helping mm -hmm. Ukrainians. And, and he's there right now. But there's a lot of scams. I remember the scam about the Hurricane Sandy. Where did all that daggum money go? That piss ticks me off. And I think of all this illegitimate, quote, charitable organizations this is a huge problem for the seniors out there. Guys, don't fall for it. And, and, and then you end up calling your financial guy, hey, I need like my close friend and Scott, we need to pull out $10,000 because our grandson got in a car accident I mentioned earlier. I said, no, I'll let you get your money, but we need to make some calls first. As a fiduciary, Alex, my job is to protect our clients the best I can in every way I can. And if they don't want it, they can take their money and go to another advisor. Cause my job is to be, I, I call it an Ezekiel 33, the watchman to oversee people's monies, to help them. You know what? This is a lost art. One thing, Alex, we didn't talk about. You could have kids out there trying to scam their parents. Well, that would never happen, Scott. What are you talking about? <laughs> there has never been a kid out there who's tried to get their parents' money when they didn't yep. actually probably need it. What are yep. you talking about? That would never it's happen. It's crazy. That would never happen. No. Yeah. Well, and Scott, and I see that. And I'm sure that you do, and you see it all. And you are somebody, if somebody's sitting out there and they're thinking, well, heck, is this a scam or what should I look out for? If you have questions, then Scott could maybe have some answers for it. If you want to give him a buzz, 609-488-4646. You can give Scott a call, 609-488-4646. Scott, since you deal with this a lot, are there some indicators that somebody might be dealing with a scammer? Sometimes not. Sometimes they could be so sounding so sincere, so realistic, you might not realize it. But but then on the other side, yeah, 
And basically, they go to Google and they do a search online and people who contact you. Or perhaps maybe you go online, you look up their phone number. If those seniors, people that are cognitively, they're going to be proactive. Maybe you Google the phone number, see if it's a real phone number. And when I see people also really being proactive is they want you to download stuff and they, they want you to just click on this and it leads you down the primrose path of being ripped off. And that internet thing is a lot of, Seniors these days, more now than ever, are on the internet. They sit in there, maybe one person's watching a TV show and the other person's on the internet, and you get caught in this web of deception. And, 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 and I think we've really never did this on a radio show in the past 10, 12 years, but this is a good segment, Alex. We talk about so many scammers know, I mean, they're trained. They know how to get your information, and then they get your voice, and they get your... It's almost right now, just like the thief in the night. Well, now they don't even have to go in your house. They're going to get it by the internet. So I think this is really, really a good topic of the scams. And again, the nicest guy, the nicest girl in the world, one of the, one of the flags, maybe they're good looking. They have a nice, sweet talking self, and maybe they just want to sell you something and, get you involved in something and they get your credit card and they get your, and now you're spending time cleaning up this nonsense. So don't use your debit card. If you're going to buy things, use a credit card. It's the credit card companies are really helping out. They're been big, a, a big insulator. I would never, never use a debit card. And by the way, it happened to my sister where her daughter is on my sister's account and she started buying stuff and she started adding to the credit card, which my sister is in her name and she allowed her daughter to use it. What could and all go of a wrong? sudden she sees charges. My goodness. And she got taken to the cleaners and I uh, won't say what I did, but I can tell you, I see this from a firsthand position to my clients and I just, disturbs me, especially in the field I was heading in. How do I protect our clients as a fiduciary, as a protector of our clients? And uh, I think this is really important, Alex. Great subject. Well, and Scott, you don't want to just walk around and be somebody who doesn't trust anybody or that you're super paranoid or stuff no. like that. But how can working with financial professional, working with you, how can that you know, insulate people, give some people some protection against scams? Because some of them can come from people that you really didn't expect it to come from. Well, I know one thing, we get phone calls and I can tell you several phone calls we get from clients and they want to take money out and I will drill them down on questions. Well, let me ask you something. What happened? What took place? What do you need it for? Not that I'm trying to control their money, not at all, but to protect them from what's going on. Now, if they don't want to tell me, they don't have to. I'm supposed to give them their money. If they ask the money, that's fine. But if I'm hearing something fishy, whether they get the sweepstakes or whatever, I really want to know, is it the fraudulent, deceptive, deceitful people out there trying to get their hands on their money? And I usually call. The second thing, of course, when I think about that, um, I really want to find out if they call us, you know, what is it about, as I just mentioned, if it even goes to the next level, which I have done, I may call the the power of attorney if we keep our clients in our in our firm when when someone becomes a client i want a copy of their will power of attorney living will so if they call in and they want to ask questions i'm going to pull them up who is this and i want to find out about that or our staff would find out about that so ask lots of questions maybe you go to your best friend before you do anything and ask them questions on what should you do if not, uh, uh, and maybe you get this fancy software out there. Uh, I don't know what, which is the best software. I'm not, I'm not telling people what the best software is, but there's software to protect your, uh, your title, a title lock. They, I think they call it, or maybe a life lock, which your your protection. I don't know which is the best out there. That's not my job. You know, search, seek it out, ask your kids for help or, but I think you need to have these tools because it's going to get more rampant as the market changes as people get more aggressively theft goes up.
And Scott, for the last time here today, how can people get a hold of you if they do have questions? Pick up the telephone, 609-488-4646. Our staff will put you on the call log. We'll follow up, 609-488-4646. And if we can help somebody, obviously we're a financial firm. We're not the fraud detection firm. I'll make that real clear. If we can hear some phony things going on, we will probably either post it on the web, 609-488-4646.com. And uh, you can see for some helpful tips, if we have any at that time, of things that are happening. This presentation may contain information which has undergone regulatory or other significant change since its original recording. The information on this program is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up-to-date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Discussions and answers to questions do not involve the rendering of personalized investment advice and is limited to the dissemination of general information and may not be suitable for members of the listening audience. Communications such as this are not impartial and are provided in connection with advertising and marketing for McLean advisory group. Prior to making any investment or financial decisions, an investor should always seek advice from a financial, insurance, legal, or tax professional. McLean Advisory Group and or Scott McLean offer investment advisory and financial planning services through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement. 